And then Kremlin said that Iran's president has called Vladimir Putin to discuss the attack on Israel as Tehran braces for an Israeli retaliation. According to the official statement from the Kremlin, President Putin has expressed hope that all sides will show reasonable restraint and prevent a confrontation that could have catastrophic consequences for the entire region. Iranian media has quoted Raisi of declaring that Iran would respond more severely, extensively and painfully than ever to any action against Iran's interests. Russia, which has forged close ties with both the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and Arab leaders, has repeatedly slammed the West for ignoring the need for an independent Palestinian state within 1967 borders. Putin, in his first publicly aired comments on Iran's attack, said the root cause of the current instability in West Asia was the unresolved conflict between Palestinians and Israel. Meanwhile, U.S. intelligence officials say Tehran's growing partnership with Moscow is strengthening the capabilities of both the countries. Ukraine and the United States have claimed that Iran is provi has provided pardon me, Russia with a large number of powerful surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles as well as drones that Moscow has used in Ukraine. According to military analysts, the expanded ties have helped Moscow and Tehran cement their agreements. They include a pledge by Russia to provide its ally with advanced fighter jets and air defense technology. These assets could help Tehran strengthen its defenses against any future airstrike by Israel or the United States. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.